I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily, jumping right into the market. Today in crypto, Bitcoin, I posted the idea and said, still looks like a bear flag, downside potential. You got you to gotta break down a major support right here. And you just have to assume you hopefully catch a bunch of buys right here and don't lose this lower trend line. Otherwise, we're downside. Shorts are killing it. If you're trading on leverage with MEXC, you're, you're making a ton of money shorting the market, right? This has been easy money. You can see clearly right here, still room for more downside. I mean, possibly you've got a forming a parabola where the key is this bull trap right here. Bulls got trapped. And what happens when bulls get trapped? Anyone? 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 Bulls get punished. And that's what's happening. So the most important thing is to understand you don't want to see a parabolic break to the downside. Me quick drop. But I mean, there's definitely downside ideas. You've got the 200 simple moving average coming in here for the, on the four hour. I'm not going to cover a lot of the higher time frames because we've been doing that consistently. The most important thing is the price action reaches 28,200. You got to get a bounce here, right? You don't want to lose. You already lost the 21, the 50, the 80, the 100. Now the 200, right? So this needs to hold. You need to put in some kind of bounce here or maybe some more sideways action. But again, downside quite possible. Bitcoin dominance. And I, and I talked to you about this as far as nailing the moves. Gave you real good ideas that we'd see a move based on the idea. If you look at the histogram, you've got, you're about to go into the green, right? And so green means upside. You got a little falling wedge right here, potentially. Actually, it might be bigger falling wedge. That might even be better. And then you've got this support level. I mean, this looks like you got sto stochastic RSI headed higher. You know, you could get a double bottom on the RSI. You've got hidden bullish divergence. And so there's ideas where this bounces and that gives you a bigger Bitcoin move. Bitcoin, because it's driving the show. Been kind of a drag session lately, but again, leverage trading group that we started, we're killing it. You can go over to the website, cryptorev.net. You can sign up for one of the combos. You get four months free of the CBC trading group, four months free of the leverage trading group. So you just sign up for a year of each and you're going to get a ton of months free and ridiculously cheap because we're trying to just make everybody some money. The leverage trading group, you can do shorter term on this and you can just pay with the card, right? Invest in yourself. You have the most upside potential there is, period, right? If you have any questions, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com and we'll get it. So you got new monthly handle open now. And we're seeing some downside price moves out of Bitcoin. Again, we're nailing these shorts. 83%, 53%, 43%, 21, 17, 16, 13. These, this was a long, 15% uh, out of uni. Uh, CRV, which got exploited, got hacked. And with a little bit of leverage, 3x leverage, which is low, you made 42% off this. So you have to, you've got to adjust what the market's giving you. This is like all coin season upside down, right? It's that easy. You have to build your bag right now that you have a big bag so you can quit working later on. This person, he had his, he had his first short ever, 6X leverage, 53%. The setup was posted and broke down to the downside. You just follow the moves. We've got live streams where it's like follow the leader. It doesn't get any easier than this. Richard Hart called investors to buy crypto assets securities in offerings that he failed to register. Notice securities are okay, but he didn't register them. Then he defrauded those investors by spending some of their crypto assets on exorbitant luxury goods. The SEC comes out and they said, we're going to hold Hart accountable for his actions. If you are sitting next to millions of dollars of watches on YouTube, wearing goofy 
expensive clothing not the best way to present yourself to the world. You freaking call investors to make a profit. This is a security. One person calling investor, you gotta register it, right? You gotta register these. What we wanna see is the CFTC take over, get the SEC out of here. I'm gonna talk about that more in just a second. So this is huge news. The US House Committee advances crypto bills for regulatory clarity. Now we're up to a total of four, four bills passed by the House. Obviously it has to go through the Senate, but they're aiming to establish regulatory framework for digital assets, provide clarity for blockchain developers, regulate sta stable coin issuers and protect self custody cryptocurrencies. The move represents progress towards a workable regulatory environment in the American crypto industry. This is going to take off. You're going to see some of these spot ETFs take off and that's going to cause an epic bull run. And so I hope you guys are ready for about what, what's about to happen because it's about to be freaking crazy. You're not even going to believe it. Like it gets so easy to trade this market. All the new money FOMO's in. I mean, we have the halving run up first. We'll deal with that. We'll make 40, 50% off the halving run up and then we'll short move lower because it normally falls off before the actual having before the date of the having it'll bitcoin will sell off typically it has in the past right and so and then it, you'll get you know real good volatility real good bounces a lot of good trades out of it short-term trades leverage trades then after the bitcoin having we'll run ready rock funds spot bitcoin etf is going to take some time and they can delay it I mean, there's never black rock funds has only had one one time where they were denied an etf and of course crypto has never had an etf but they've been working on it for 10 years and so you're just at a point where it's black rock funds they're they've, they've loaned tr a trillion dollars to the united states before and they're pushing they know they got the right contacts and then they're going to be able to track it with coinbase be a fight manipulation the SEC is going to lose a ton of power in crypto because they're not going to be able to go after all these commodities. The CFTC is going to essentially 70% of these cryptos or more are going to be reclassified as commodities in the SEC to deal with the securities. And then the securities will be able to register and be fine. Registered securities are completely, everything's about to change. The entire scope and framework of cryptocurrency is about to change. And we're here in the United States. And when this happens, you'll see a massive influx of money into the markets, which is all sitting on the sidelines right now. As soon as this happens, it's got your, all your institutions are gonna feel more comfortable. I mean, you need these laws in place. Maybe you see a, a little bit of a sell-off at first because it's something that you know, some people don't like, but then you've got laws in place and nobody wants to lose all their money. Nobody wants to get hit with a $100 million fine. Nobody wants to deal with all this nonsense that we're seeing right now. This is ridiculous. Everything is about to change in this market. The having is coming regardless. So that run up and then as this plays out, we'll run ready. I hope you guys are about to you're going to be blown away on how easy this market is to make money. But I've never been so excited about this market because, and we've, we've made it through the hard times. We've adjusted. Obviously, in the United States, you can't trade on KuCoin anymore. So I did some research, and BitGet is actually seeing a lot more volume than KuCoin. And so I've got some spot ideas for you, and I'm going to be looking at deeper uh, in the future, but again, just so you guys are about to be completely blown away. People get frustrated in the bear market and this is the best time to learn and practice with small amounts so that you can make, this is when millionaires are made period. I really started trading heavy in the bear market in 2018 I mean, I was accumulating in 2017, but after buying $18,000 Bitcoin and it dropping to 6,500 within a month and a half, I realized buy the dip does not work. Listen to the 
YouTube yahoos, buying the dip does not work on a downtrend. And so, yeah, just the amount of knowledge that we have and the team that we have in the group, like it's, it's amazing. And I'll bring a lot of the content over to the channel so you guys can prosper. Presidential candidate Ron DeSantis says Biden's war on Bitcoin and crypto will end when I become president. Vote for this guy. Heather reveals an increase in its excess reserves of about $850 million. They're at about a total excess of reserve funds, $3.3 billion. They're the largest stablecoin by far. You want to throw some fun at this market, talk trash about Tether and Wales put it out there and everybody falls for it. And they get scared and Tether still stands strong because sign up for BitGet. If you want to trade spot, if you immediate fix for people in the United States that want to nail bangers, these will be posted in the future, posted in the group, posted on YouTube because we have, I mean, the group is global, the channel is global. And you can see, I mean, you've got 20%, 24%, 26%, 34%, 55%, 56 66 141, 291 bangers. And this was while Bitcoin was dropping. Come to Hoop Jumpers Anonymous. That's what we have to do. So I would open up a BitGet account, get some money over there. So I'm super excited about BitGet and gem pick bangers in the future. I'm pulling all nighter again, 424 AM here, Eastern time. And I'm trying to get out as much content as I can to the group, to you guys. So you know where to move your money around to so we can take over and dominate this bull market because that's what we're going to do, period. Because that's all we've ever done. Thousands of people in the group. About 550 people in the leverage trading group. Because we kill it. It's like the biggest no-brainer in the history of man. You, you're in this market to make money and you're not. Let me help you. Let me help you. The only reason I'm doing this is for you guys. Like you to make life-changing money. I want you guys to send me the DMs where, man, I freaking made ridiculous amounts of money, quit working. I need those. That's what drives me. Send me those. Send me those messages. So Celsius, which is bankrupt, they reached settlements that could clear the path to obtain court approval to return customer assets, the Wall Street Journal reported. So this is big. A lot of people got hit by Celsius. And... This would resolve some consumer claims over fraud allegations. And you could see $78 billion being settled. So Celsius will see court approval for the settlements on August the 10th at a hearing, according to this report. So that would be good. People getting money back to put back into the market. IRS clarifies rules on crypto staking rewards. The Internal Revenue Service, they have new guidelines on July the 31st. So they're taxing cryptocurrency staking. The IRS website suggests that staking income should be treated as taxable income alongside mining income. Here we go again. I mean, you just pay your taxes. It's that simple. My mentor said, you know what, Chris, don't move to Dubai. Make twice as much money, period. It's that easy. Don't change your lifestyle. You're settled here. Binance comes out and Binance Japan is going to initially support trading 34 tokens. You've seen an uptick in the price, but we talked about this with this falling wedge. Everything's just playing out real slow, right? Because Bitcoin's price moves are tiny. Um, and so, you know, will you see this continue higher? But, you know, BNB has obviously taken a lot of hits and opening up in Japan is great, but is the crypto market great is the question are we going to see more bitcoin downside let's take a look at bitcoin again it's trying to bounce here it's trying to trying to bounce but after these bull traps i'm telling you you counter trade bull traps you make the most amount of money possible you get a bear trap right here and you go the opposite direction right you counter trade the bear trap right you could have bought the breakout but as soon as the trap happens you long it Right, as soon as the trap happens, the bull trap, you short it. And that's my, my trading strategy. And the hardest part of trading is just waiting for the right opportunities. It's all about timing. I'll pull this, I posted this in group earlier. 
just to show you guys. The one thing I learned about technical analysis is timing is everything. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.